We heard a lot about Zayvon Collins, a, a guy that if he's there at the 26th pick in the NFL draft, the Browns will likely grab. Time to head out and talk to somebody who knows Zayvon Collins as well as anybody. Philip Montgomery, the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes head coach. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Um, Zayvon won a number of Defensive College Football Players Award. You saw it up close. Um, how impressive was the season that he put together last, last year? Oh, I mean, what he did last year was so special. Um, you look at what he did each and every game. It just wasn't one game. It, it was it was a combination of things that he put together, uh, plays that he was making at crucial times. You know, we expected him to have a great season, but he, he went far and beyond our expectations and just a tremendous leader for us all the way across the board. What kind of kid is he? You saw he won the uh, in that graphic, the Lombardi Award. That's a guy who Im- – embraces and kind of sets the mold and follows the the things that Lombardi held close and dear. Uh, what kind of kid is he off the field as well? We'll get back to on the field, but off the field, uh, what are teams getting in Zayvon Collins? Uh, they're getting a great young man, a, a, a kid that, that really grew up in a real small town here in Oklahoma, uh, played a little bit of everything. You know, eyes have been on him pretty much his whole life because of the, the size of the town. So as he stepped into this, you know, obviously a, a different situation, lots of talent around him. Uh, it really pushed him to be better, put, drove him to, to start really seeing himself in a different way. And, and as accolades and things, he started picking up so much hype throughout the season. You know, he really, you know, embraced all of it, but did it in such a, a you know, a, a team way. It was all about his 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 teammates. It was all about the team. It was all about wins. It was never about him. And that's who he is. I mean, he wants to, he wants to hunt and fish and play ball and, and uh, do a good job in the classroom, but you're getting a great kid in him. Now you, you talk about um, last year, six and one uh, going into that championship game against Cincinnati. You beat two ranked teams, two top 20 teams, UCF, as well as SMU. How important was Zaven Collins to the success you guys had as a team? Uh, he was vital to what we were able to do. I mean, defenses, you know, when you look and 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 the way that that we use him uh, on the defensive side, it's tough to run away from him. Uh, he gets involved in so many different aspects of the game. Uh, I think we used him in in some creative ways, whether we were bringing him off the edge, blitzing him through the middle, dropping him into coverage, and he's got great instincts about him. And so uh, he was he affected every game we played, and obviously, affected it positively towards us and negatively towards whoever we were playing that week. But uh, he was he was a force to be reckoned with throughout the year.